Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So the last two nights of TV for WWE, both Raw and SmackDown, took place here in California in the Bay Area. Monday Night Raw took place in the SAP Center in San Jose, California, while SmackDown Live took place in the Oracle Arena in Sacramento, California. Now with that, though, attendance and ticket sales were very, 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 very low. Now on Monday Night Raw, as you see in this image, most of the balcony level seats were tarped off. Now, there were some sections that people had tickets to and they were able to seat and sit in their section, but most, like I said, of the balcony level, as you see here, was tarped off. Also, as far as this week's, also as far as this week's Monday Night Raw goes, now I'm gonna give you some insider words real fast. If you haven't heard them, I'll explain them really fast. Hard camera and hard camera side. The hard camera is the main camera that films Monday Night Raw or SmackDown. The camera that looks at the ring. It's a big craned camera. Anyways, hard camera side is just whatever side of the arena that the hard camera is looking at. So it's like, say, a superstar is doing a promo. They're looking at the camera. The hard camera side is whoever their back is turned to. Now with that, as fans started to file in for Monday Night Raw this week, they noticed that the hard camera side wasn't really looking that strong as far as looking filled up. So what they actually did was they took people from the non-hard camera side and they actually upgraded some of their seats and they moved them to the other side of the arena. They moved as many people as they could as far as making it look like the arena was full on one side because that's all they need. They need at least one side to look full because that's the side that the actual main camera for the show is actually looking at. Now, as far as SmackDown goes, I'm being told that the entire balcony level was actually tarped off, and a lot of the non-hard camera side, the side under the hard camera, was tarped off as well. They were so desperate to sell tickets to this week's SmackDown Live TV taping that our very own Nick Armstrong here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited was able to go to the show for $11. Yes, $11. I don't remember the last time I even saw house show tickets that cheap. Like, TV taping tickets, eh, $50 is probably what you usually see. I mean, sometimes you can get in for like $25 if it's like top nosebleed seats. But $11 to go to a TV taping? That's crazy. I haven't even seen tickets for NXT that cheap as far as when they do their tours around the country. Like when they were here in Fresno last October I think the cheapest seat there was like 30 25 something like that but not 11 not 11 and now some people are trying to say that oh well it was the fact that they were in the same market both nights they were not far from each other a lot of people were able to go to the same show a lot of people were able to go to both shows or a lot of people only wanted to go to one over the other and that's an excuse and that's an excuse because ticket sales weren't just low this week, they've been low for the past couple of weeks. I mean, we've seen some of these Monday night SmackDown house shows that maybe, maybe get a thousand people in attendance. Now, you can use the excuse of, well, people didn't want to go to a, a SmackDown live house show on Monday because they wanted to stay home and watch Monday Night Raw. You can come up with as many excuses as you want. It's, it's just the fact of, there's two things here that we can look at. Is it interest is down? People are like, uh, eh, WWE, whatever, I see it on TV. Or is it the fact of they really don't wanna pay? Because this day and age, if people wanna go see something, they're more likely to pay as a lot of things are becoming more expensive because people know that they can charge more. So, so let me give you an example on what I mean by, by they charge more now because they know people will pay it. I went to an Alan Jackson concert, it's country music if you don't know, about 10 years ago sat hmm what were we like not too far back ticket price $75 but today if we were to go to that same concert today they would be probably charging $175 for the same seat not just because inflation or anything over the last 10 years but because they know they can charge that much more and people are gonna pay it here in 2017 opposed to 10 years ago in 2007 so that may not be the issue. It may actually be that the, the interest is down for the WWE, which is not good. 
when WWE only comes to your city once or twice a year, some markets will get three, like Los Angeles, New York, Orlando, Chicago. But like here in Fresno, middle of California, we're getting WWE here twice this year. We had a SmackDown Live taping right after Payback. And this Saturday, we actually have, I think it's a Raw House show. Typically, we get two shows. Some cities may only get one show a year. And with that, it's like, well, you don't get WWE every weekend. It's not like you have a hockey team or a football team or a basketball team that are going to be around a lot. You're like, ah, I'll skip that game. No. It's that the interest is so down that people are like, eh, I see WWE on TV every week. I don't really need to spend my money to go see it live. And some fans do because it is a different experience. I mean, if you have never gone to a live event, there's no commentary. Whether you're at a live event or a TV taping, there's no commentary. So that is different. And some people are turned off by that, but that's, that's a completely different subject. The issue... Like I said, it's not that people aren't going to pay. Like, it may be for some people. Oh, I can't afford it. I'm not going to go this and that. But it's the interest. WWE needs to do something to bring that interest back up with their fans. I know I know. some people have been coming at me saying, Hey, WWE seems to be getting more edgy. Have you heard Roman Reigns use the word bitch in all of his stuff recently against John Cena? Nikki Bella used it when she was calling out Marisa and right before their match at WrestleMania. And a lot of wrestlers are also using the word shit in their promos as well. Cool. We also saw last week Vince McMahon get bloodied, but that was a completely different thing. Vince just wanted to make that look good anyways. WWE needs to do something, whether it's a superstar shakeup, whether it's kill the brand split, whether it's bring in some new people, they need to do something to bring the interest level back up for their shows, to bring the interest level back up for their brand. Now I know WWE profits millions upon millions upon millions of dollars every year, but if ticket sales continue to decline, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to insinuate that WWE is going to go out of business or anything because that ain't going to happen. They have a very, very lucrative TV deal with the USA Network. They have a pretty good deal with Sky Sports in the UK and all their other partners around the world as well that do air Raw and SmackDown. And that's where most of their money comes from. So yes, ticket sales are down. Yes, attendance is down. But it's not like they're hurting for money. I mean... They just need to do something to, I guess, revitalize their fans, rejuvenate the interest, give us that shot in the heart that we want, and show us that they can do something different. I think, here's my opinion, I think the reason that interest is down is because things have gotten stale. You see almost the same, now this could be an issue of the brand split, but you see the same matches on every house show loop, every weekend. You can go a whole month and check the you know results and stuff of WWE house shows, and you'll see every night was the same match. So with that, now I ask you guys, what do you guys think the WWE needs to do to get the interest back up with the fans, to get the fans to want to go to their shows? And let me know your experiences. Do you like to go to the WWE show every time they come to your city? Or are you like, eh, they came already once this year, I can pass. Or are you like, eh, they'll come again eventually, I'll just wait it out. Is it an interest thing for you guys, or is it a money thing? That is the big question going around right now with the WWE and stuff. It's like, hey, are we charging too much? Are ticket prices too high, and that's why fans don't want to come? Or is it what most people think, and it's interest is down, people don't want to come to our house shows because they do seem kind of repetitive? And the other thing... Two with that as far as not wanting to go to house shows is people sometimes think, hey, nothing, nothing special is going to happen at the house show, so I'll just wait and see if a TV taping eventually comes to my city, and then I'll shell out my money for that. But again, let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments below and what you think WWE can do to boost up their attendance and get the interest back on people going to the live shows. But that's going to do it for this edition of Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe here on YouTube and follow pwunlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.